un edificio y un parque, si viene ahora están llamando a... Están jugando a la cama unas niñas. Su sour. Un call out para su sour. What Carlito Fluito thinks about having a car? Having a car is useful, as we can see, to do shopping or to bring some friends to in the airport. But please use bikes because we are in a traffic jam right now and this is what's happened. You have a car, you pay for the insurance, you pay for the gas and you pay for the planet obviously. And you pay with your time because you are here wasting your time. So if you have to commute, use a bike, use a train, use public transport and then you can read because in the car you cannot do many things. Actually, because I like to speak a lot, I think cars are more useful in America and because we are living in this American model everyone wants a car and has a car but for Europe I think it's not that useful because in cities like Amsterdam or Denmark they, they, everyone uses bike cities like Brussels is a bit more difficult because of the hills but everyone could use bike so have a bike this is my small Carlito Fluito idea about commuting and mobility peace <laughs> So I'm gonna do something quite incoherent, which is speaking about my values while I'm driving, which is against my values. So <laughs> my, my, my point of view on life and my values is like, I try to do things that I consider them they are right, but I'm aware or I'm conscious of the things that are not so right or that are, or that are wrong. And I always have on mind what I could do to, to improve myself to look for doing more things, yeah. Like trying to do more things that I consider they, they are right. So that, that's a bit of, yeah, of my philosophy or the values or the approach. So do things that you consider they are right, try to avoid things that you consider they are wrong, but be conscious about what you are doing it wrong and always keep on mind things that you could do better. So how to transition it from the bad things to the good one. So this is Colrit. I know it's controversial because it's one of the cheapest, so probably when a supermarket is, is big and it's cheap, uh, it's probably cutting off on the edges, no? So there are probably products that are maybe not uh, obtained in the best way. But well, it's the place I shop. And now I'm gonna do some groceries. Uh, I'm vegetarian, so there will no meat in the grocery and the point also I try to cut off plastics and here for example we can find some of this but also I try to be this uh, simple simple food I, I don't know exactly what's the name now so the point is like try to buy a uh, raw food instead of processing because this is the point when products are very cheap usually have a lot of sugar and a lot of salt in the future hopefully when I have more money and the economy goes better uh, I will go shopping into more fair trade markets and biological products but today this is the reality so come and see La semana comienzo para tallar arroz, llegó el día del chuletón, rojito, jugoso, sabroso por dentro, acompañado de papa frita, mucha papa frita, Coca-Cola fresquita, mami qué rico, bolsas de dorito, cheto, riqueto, si un gordo cateto, pucher y pringa, pero me encanta la más, atún de barbate, prefiero de Marruecos que de Suiza el chocolate, si estoy en México son la coja. By the way, which is something I didn't say with the wine, uh, this is a lot of plastic. So, yeah, this is even plastic as well. So it's better if there is this recyclable cups made out of cardboard or something. But well, anyway, freegan style. If you want a coffee, come to Colt. <laughs> a mi figura, dice mi parienta que parezco una escultura, el resto de la gente que estoy gordo como Buda, pero yo sigo comiendo lo que piensen, me la suda, todo está bien, pon más aceite en la sartén, que les den, sube tus michelines a Instagram, tengo un plan, la cola fuera como chin chan, chin chan. Ok, so the price at the end, uh, ok, as you can see, most of it is raw food, vegetables, 
So what do we have is okay, some fruit, banana, oranges, some beer over here, and then vegetables. Well, we have kiwi also. We have vegetables. We have carrots. We have tomatoes, paprika. We have champignon. Honey is at home, so I have bought these things. I don't usually do it, but for honey, I will do it. Uh, I have potatoes also, and then we have bought some juice. It's orange juice also, it's fresh. Uh, and I bought uh, this uh, almond milk, and rice milk is over here. And I'm transitioning to veganism, so I still eat some eggs, these proteins. These are the cheap ones, but it's supposed to be Ele versus all, so the chicken are rice on the sun. Soya and bread, I, I don't usually do it, but today I did. So the thing, still, things that I don't like from this is too much plastic. This is plastic, 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 plastic. This is not but plastic. So still I'm trying to reduce the plastic consumption. Uh, but for the rest I think it's okay. It's the cheapest supermarket. So it's cool because I don't spend so much. And yeah, I think I did a good job. If you want to guess how much, you can leave a comment on the video and then I will post it. <laughs> this is the price. So let me know how much would you pay for all this and how much time can I eat? Two people, Honey, the camera and me. So let's see how long it takes. <laughs> So one of the things I do in my life is I'm dog sitting. So this year I learned many things about dogs. So this specific dog is Mortimer. He's very nervous. So what we are gonna do now is open him, but we cannot pay him so much attention because it will increase his his anxiety in the long term. So now we we make him enter, but we, we don't pay attention to him, and we go. To learn things about animals is quite good. I was on the past like to mind me about pets, but now I think it's, it's a nice way to, to start to understand animals and mammals as another type of beings, beings that suffer. I keep suffering. <laughs> so we can... Later we can pet him and we can play with him, but now we have to wait until it. Recently, like three months ago, I moved towards more minimalistic life and still like I have this corner which is full of things. So yeah, I mean the laptop because it's like for working and then I, I took off like I had a clock and these things and a lamp. So I took them off because I prefer candles when it's night so I don't have so much, so much light because I have a bit of photosensitivity. So here like I, I have a whole thing of stuff so with some notes and some reminders you know and well I have this gone so sometimes I use it for the meditation when I do classes this is like commuting so if you check the website you understand my concept of commuting have some incense some music some stuff also for boiling this bowl basically is for sitting and also I can do some work so when I was looking for a room, I had on my mind like to have a lot of space. And it's not so clean as you can see, but well, it's real. So the point of having a space is like I can train, and it's yeah quite useful to be able to do this in in my own room. And well, I bought this recently in in Amsterdam in the mosque. Uh, I mean the the meaning is for for praying, but I use it for meditation because it's like this attitude of doing rituals, you know? So when you have something that reminds you you have to meditate and how to meditate and you set up the, the situation. 
here I have my intellectual stuff, so to say, so I have like some books to read, Karamazov Brothers right now, so Dostoevsky is like a great guy, and then here I have like stuff from the university and also my notebooks, for example, one, this one, let's see, Jaén, Copenhagen, Madrid, France, 2016, and I have like, you know, stuff, a lot of stuff. The force of compassion. <laughs> it's like, what, many, many notes. So, yeah, at some point I will go through it. This is practical stuff, like clothes, things for workout. And this is like the stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I try to go minimalistic, so instead of throwing things away, what I do is I keep them on the side. So it's out of my mind, and still I don't throw them. I'm researching about nature, so I try to apply it. I have these plants, I love them. They give water in the morning, if you want to take a look. The kitchen, well, uh, is the same style. I try to keep it the most minimalistic as possible, so I have one of these, one of these, one of these, because I don't need more. And when I have guests, like Honey, behind the camera, so I have things on, on, the, on the shelves. For example, here I have more, more forks, more things to cut and this. Yeah, so that's the idea, to have more stuff in case I need. But the point is like to keep it as clean as possible. Do I really need it? So do I. Here the same, well, I have a lot, I think, yeah, I mean, I brought some shirts last time when I was in Spain because of the university, but that's the concept also, like to have less, to have less decisions to take, some stuff for camping, because it's good to be in contact with the nature, so I have my backpack for traveling, a tent, and a mat, this thing, extremely, extremely useful for everything, like, I could do a different video only about it. I've used it for as a bed seat, as a towel, as a backpack, for cleaning my tears, for everything, yeah, believe me. I have this, which I should use a bit more, and I like it. I mean, it's good for stretching, it's good for keeping it a bit fit. Uh, yeah, I like it. And then it's the bathroom which I have like different things, I, it's the same concept, like I try to keep it the most minimalistic as possible and well, still I have a lot of uh, stuff, I like plants, so I keep the plants this avocado that is growing, this is of honey, so for example, we can compare what is the difference between, <laughs> between an electric one and a normal one? with the normal one, you can train your hands, you can train your brain because one of the things I do is like instead of using my right one, I use the left, so I can compensate the hemispheres. With this one, you consume energy, and you don't use your brain. It's like having a smartphone, more or less. <laughs> uh, yes. And for example, I I have stuff here. So for example, soap. I buy a lot of soap, and then I keep it here. So when I need it, I use these pieces. I have some stuff here, some stuff here, honey on the camera. <laughs> and well, for cologne, this is like I have so many. My landlord gives me like this cologne, so I have many. <laughs> but yeah, I just keep them. Instead of throwing them, I just collect them there. For the sour, is cold water sour, and I use the hand usually. I have this only when it's, it's too dirty, so you can see it's something for cleaning dishes. But I use it so, for example, for the feet, or when I have makeup for a job, for a performance job, so I use that. Uh, cold water, every day. Every day cold water. It's, it's better for your body, it's better for your immune system, it's better basically for, for yourself. For your mood, for your lungs, for everything. And um, yeah, well, this is my towel from Omkareswar. I, I prefer to use this, it reminds me to be humble, to keep the things more down to earth. And um, yeah, I should be finishing, but I want to mention this new thing. 
It's a homemade scrub. It's only olive oil and sugar. And I put it from time to time. It really it, it hydrates the skin and it keeps it clean. And well, this also is deodorant, natural deodorant. It's a, a stone. So it's the most eco friendly thing I know. Ah, uh, yeah. Some cream also for my skin and that's it. I try to keep it simple, to keep it basic and organized for cleaning, more candles, this stuff. And of course, my lovely plant. Mis vacaciones son lagunas mentales. Ya no recibo regalos en Navidades, ¿sabes? Curo mis males desahogándome en pares. Humedeciendo vaginas instrumentales, ya ves, proyectos de vida no tengo, tengo temas nuevos. Algunos quieren tener la vida que llevo, pero no se imaginan lo que me cuesta conseguir dinero, ni el cansancio que producen los viajes del ego. Si hay algo que aprendí desde pequeño es a nunca confundir a mis visiones con mis sueños, ambiciones con empeño, de mi cielo soy el dueño y no le doy la solución de mis conflictos a un leño. Never, I'm too clever, soy muy feliz a mi manera. So we are in front of Harro Cafe, which is the place I used to work as a bar, as a barman at the, at the end of 2017, at the beginning of 2018. And the reason we are here is to make a small reflection about money and your time. Like there is this famous quote Mujica, he says like, money is not the important thing, it's like the time you put into earning the money. So at the end you are paying with your life. So the point is like, I'm always trying to improve myself, always trying to save time, but the point is like if I'm gonna work on something and they're gonna pay me, it's my time invested on earning that money. So what do you want the money for? What do you want to spend your life on to earn that money? So in my personal case, it was about getting the money, saving the money, and now I can develop more like my career as a writer, as a dancer. So this is my reflection also for you. If you are working on something, try to save that money and have a bigger goal. Don't spend everything at once and then it's over. So try to have longer term plans and work. Yeah, it was well paid, so try to also invest on something that is well paid. Yeah, it's not my favorite though. <laughs> Vamos de cenar, but we're still hungry Don't you worry, me, baby, don't you worry Lo primero que debes entender es que Solo compito para verte perder Poseo un apetito infinito por aprender Y leo para comprender el gran poder de saber ¿Se entiende? Me tengo fe, pero no confío en la gente uh, Ni creo en los llamados golpes de suerte Solo dependo del control de mi mente Ya que nadie llega a ser millonario sin ser inteligente Defino mi camino Cuido mi caminar, escribo mi destino, no lo dejo al azar. Ok, so now we are gonna see my morning routine, which basically is waking up, not looking at the phone, because I want my brain to be in a very good condition. So what I do, depending on how cold, is it, I put some clothes on the other way, and then morning routine for me is not something stable, but it's something I want to reach. So I have a morning routine on my mind, and I try to do it every day. But if I don't do it, at least I try to be closer than I was yesterday. I bought this recently in Amsterdam, in the mosque. And I don't use it as a Muslim. But I like the fact that helps me to know what I'm gonna do. So the first thing on my mornings is simply sitting and meditate. I try to meditate for one hour in the best of the cases, but usually it's about 30, 45 minutes. To know the time, I can use a normal watch, a normal clock, like this one, or I can use the phone. So either this or this, I put the alarm, 45 minutes, and I focus on my breathing, very simple meditation in the morning and just let myself to wake up little by little.
See, if my, if my meditation has been good, then I have checked my body several times I have, and I have noticed different parts of my body that needs special rehabilitation. Easy stretching. The spine very easily. I just move. And I let my body to connect with me. Plank exercises with mobility, working on the strength, working on the balance. Maybe some days I can work into fingers or I can work into specific articulations or a specific core exercise. So it all depends. And that's the idea. Connecting with your mind, first thing in the morning, second with the body. The idea is, I only drink water, a little bit, the first thing in the morning, and then later. So my stomach is empty, I can move and I can meditate. And after this, shower. If I have done the exercise, my body is warm. So to balance the warm, cold water. So to save water, I want to open the shower yet. The point is, I shower with cold water and the idea is, well, for my skin it's better because I have dermatitis but it's also better for the immune system and to, yeah, to help your body to regulate the temperature. So for example, Honey in the camera, <laughs> he, he showers with warm water very often or every day and the point is like he's cold many times, he has told me. And in my case, like, because my body is used to, to exposure to cold, I, I, don't, I don't experience cold anymore so much. So this is a small advice. If you want, start showering with cold water. And let's move. I'm only... So now you are gonna learn, well you are gonna learn, yes, you are gonna, hopefully you are gonna change a habit that everyone does every day. And we are in the bathroom because it's something we do in the bathroom or in the toilet. So the point is, every one of us every day goes to here and sits. Incorrect. <laughs> so one thing you have to do before dying is going to India. When I went to India I was very surprised because this is almost an unexistent piece of furniture because what is there there are latrines so there are basically holes on the ground what is it for this is basically to do like this but here in Europe we don't have so many latrines so we have many of these so how to use a toilet in Europe many times when you are in Europe when you are in a bar and it's very very dirty but you need to use it you think I'm not gonna sit here and obviously you don't want to sit here so the technique is as follow you take one foot out one foot out and then you take one leg out and then you put this leg inside the other one then you put you put up the sock then you put the shoe in and then you go up and you do what you have to do in this way I haven't entered into contact with any of the surface and I haven't entered into contact with the, with the floor so now you might laugh but next time you are partying Saturday 
5 a.m. You go to the toilet and it's full of vomit and you need to shit. You will tell me. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Carlito Fluito giving life advice. I'm <laughs> only. Well, today is Wednesday and I'm gonna go for a trip Thursday because there is a lecture that I want to see in the UK and then I'm gonna go to visit a friend. So what do we need for a weekend trip? Now it's like 10, half past 10 and I'm running because I'm late. So this is the backpack that I'm gonna take. And here I have the things uh, of today, which is the locker of the bike, the set for the for the university, a book, Dostoevsky, and then I have the laptop, some papers. So first we take everything out to know that we are gonna take only the basics. And more stuff, and more stuff. So what do we need? Obviously, some pens for writing, wallet, and phone. So we need things to have in case you don't have electronics, which is one notebook, one book, and a couple of pens because you never know. Things for working. Laptop. And the socket. Then we need practicalities, the smartphone for traveling, wallet, this, which is the towel, which is the seat, which also serves to put it on the face to sleep. Very useful. The coat, obviously, yes. And we need a big pullover, which for this I have it. Here, this is my pullover from Salamanca, it's very good, for traveling it's perfect because it has a hoodie and for sleeping it's the best. And then I always have already a toothpaste and a brush. I have a battery also here, keep it safe. And then I have on the bathroom this, a shop. And the rest is gonna be fruit, like some bananas, some oranges, some carrots, and that's it. You don't need anything else. Now in my younger days I used to the I went to school, I carry lunch in the bag with the apple for my teacher Cause I knew I'd get a kiss, always got mad when the class was dismissed But when it got to session, I always had a question I would raise my head to make a deck to my chest and help me with my problem, it was never much Just So thank you for watching until the end, this was all uh, There are more videos about the interviews with more content created with spirituality So if you want to check all this information Keep yourself updated in the channel. You can always press subscribe if you like the channel. You can like the video. And if you find something specifically interesting or you want to leave your opinion, you can always make any comment. I hope you find the video interesting, some useful things, some thing that might change your mind. And uh, yeah, that was Carlito Fluito. Keep on doing commuting in your life. Learn to breathe. And best wishes for you all. When the fuck I see I attack, attack, attack off my back, black nigga, fuck that. The devil hurts, and my heart hurts for the hell. Look into the eyes of a nigga.